This is your one and only Firespark81 with your daily dose of video goodness and welcome back to another exciting episode of Starbound Fracking Universe. Alright, so when we last left off, uh, it left me with some questions and uh, to answer those questions, I went to the wiki and I got looking around on the wiki and you know what I like? I like loops and when I get to looking on the wiki, I start seeing loops. And loops are fun, especially in video games. And then I was talking to one of my awesome peeps on Discord, a Screech1989. You are awesome. And we were talking about how to do auto tree farm. And I came up with this awesome idea that I'm going to share with you all today. So I, I came up with another idea as well. And uh, that idea is what led me to this idea, that along with talking to Screech. But anyway, let's get to it. Enough, enough of me babbling on. So what we're going to do is it's raining a little bit right now. So this is going to be a little wonky at first, but uh, bear with me here. We'll get everything emptied out and all that. So I think I figured out a way to create infinite healing water. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a nice little box and we're going to Put a roof on it to keep the the rain out and we're gonna do can we can we um, oh, we can almost get through that that's actually let's do let's do that and that should be good enough now what we want to do is we want to create two levels just like that so we want a level four water to be in and then we want to stop it so if the water is going to come right here and then stop that means it can fill up to here but it will never it will never empty out. There'll always be a little bit, and that's where our Healy water is going to stay. That will allow us to continue to create more and more and more and more Healy water. So we're going to put that just like that. So see, let me get out of here. Let's do the old F mode and get out of there. So that setup right there is what you want. Now this should house everything just the way we need it to. Now I've already constructed some stuff uh, in preparation for the stuff I wanna work on today and show you all. There is this water pump. This thing is awesome. It continuously creates water over and over and over again. Look, that's it. It also creates uh, algae and what else is it? Methanol uh, over time. Uh, but mainly we want it for its water source. So that's it. You're just going to leave that hang out there. Now, please keep in mind that this is going to be ugly, but I'll tidy it up later. This is more or less just a proof of concept. So I can show it to you all and show you all how it works. So we're going to put just a little, little, little that like that little, just a little blob of, uh, wood there, just a little pillar and we're gonna connect this to our item network there. So, and then what we wanna do after we do that is go in here and we'll put a little splash of normal water and click type. So, we don't have to click type, you don't have to do this. This is a little extra step to make sure that it's only gonna pull out, but I think this, this thing will only accept water, but I do this just to be on the safe side. So, you should probably do it too. Click type, click water, and there you go. So, it's only gonna pull the water, it's not gonna pull the algae or the other stuff from there. Now, we're getting a little bit of water in here, but just ignore that, it's fine, because we got that good sideways rain going on. So the next thing you want is you want uh, this right here, the spout. Now I found a little bug with the spout and it's quite, quite frustrating. We should be able to connect the spout like this. You should just be able to do that or, or connect it to here and it should work. It should just pull the water. This should pull the water out and put it into the spout. For some reason, it's not it's not working. I don't know why, maybe I'm derping it up, doing it wrong, but from everything I can tell, I'm doing it right and it's not, it's not working. I even tried hooking a switch to it, none of that when I was testing this earlier and it wouldn't work. So what you gotta do is you gotta use one of these little storage bridges, just like that, and then you're going to connect that to the blue and there you go, it just starts dumping out water not a problem that's exactly what we want we want continuous water generation we want this to keep dumping out water now what we're going to do next is take one little drop of healing water and apparently we need a little extra let's just go ahead for to make it look nice just put that like that and then we're going to drop our healing now this is all healing water now now the next thing you want to do is you want to take your iron pump and you're gonna slap it right there on the side like that, it's gonna go down and it's gonna start pumping the healing water. Now, what should happen here is it shouldn't go below this, so we'll always have water, but this 
is going to continue to put out water. So it's going to put out water as this generates water and this is going to continue to suck it up. So it's going to go down and it'll probably go down again or it might stay at the top of that block. I don't know. But now you can see that it's constantly generating as fast as this thing generates. It tosses it out and then it sucks it up and then you have healing water so that's what we want now you could speed this up with multiple pumps should be able to have multiple pumps connected to this thing oh uh oh we lost our that's not what i wanted to do at all i was hoping it would just be stuck there on the side let's try that again i wanted to be able to access it so just put that like that and now we should be able to access it and there you go so now that's generating tons of healing water well not tons but it will once i fancy it up make it faster and make it better so we got our healing water generation which we can then in turn pump into say this storage tank here so that it then gets put into our stuff throughout here and that's our max healing water is the fastest you can get to grow stuff fastest it's like the best uh, water that you can use, I should say. So that you have your water and then you have your fertilizer. Blood is, I think, third up from the, the best. And I think it's uh, blood, aether, and then the healing water, if I'm not mistaken. Don't quote me on that. Uh, my memory ain't what it used to be. But anyway, so blood's decent, but it's not good enough. We can get the healing water and have even better. Now, there is another idea I had. If we take, let's go over here, and we're going to have to craft this thing so it... Uh, it's gonna it's gonna be a little bit of a process we need this flower here this flower grinds up into uh, or extracts you take the flower and you extract it in the extractor and you get uh, a gas and I don't remember what the gas is but then you take that gas and you put that in the uh, gas centrifuge uh, where are you at I think I still need to make that somewhere here where are you? I know it's in here. Anyway, there's a gas centrifuge. I'm probably looking right over it. And uh, then that will actually create the, I think it's that's the one we need to use anyway, but uh, that gas will actually create the elder fluid and that is the best fertilizer in the game. So let's create, I got one other thing I wanna create first before we do that, just to see what it is and what it does. And it is the Ansible network. We, I've, I got everything on me except for the advanced alloy. I want to make that real quick. Should have everything we need to make the advanced alloy. How many of those do we need? Crap. I, I never, I never remember. We need, where are you at, Ansible Network? We need six of them. Okay. So let's make six advanced alloy real quick and we will get that crafted up. I want to see, whoa, look at all that stuff we just learned. That's cool. All right, there we go. So we got our six advanced alloy. Let's pop on back up here. And now we can make our Ansible network. And this thing, it says that uh, it allows us to buy stuff. I'm interested to see what all we can buy from it. So let's, you know what? I'm just going to place it right there because we can hook it into this power system because it does take power pretty easily. And oh, whoa, look at all this stuff we can buy. Holy crap. Oh, that just made our life a thousand times easier. We can get chili seeds because we need chili right here. If you look, one of the things we need is the pyrogenic. And I already know you get that from chili seeds. I was actually going to go hunt those down. Uh, I'm parked right over top of a lava planet ready just to go see. That was going to be one of the things we do today, but that's that's great. So you can buy all of this stuff and we already have unlimited income. So I was talking with, when I was talking with uh, Screech last night, uh, he was like, I don't really, you know, money's not that, not that important to me. Money is super important in this game, especially when you can buy pretty much anything you need. It's more or less gives you the ability just to spawn whatever without actually cheating. So, I mean, look at all this stuff. Holy crap. There's pretty much, I mean, I don't know if this is like anything and everything you could want, but there is a ton of stuff in here. Yellow stems. Oh, look at the ores, all the different ores. That's great. I wanted bees so I didn't have to worry about buying ore or I didn't have to worry about harvesting ore, but now I'm not even worried. So, well, we uh, I printed out all of my money, so let's get some more money. You, you know, I print out my money and then I just print new money and then, you know, I come over here and sell it. So let's just sell 
all of that sugar. There's 52,000 and some change. So we got that. Oh, we're lagging a little bit. This may just a heads up having multiple of these or or this setup here may be a tad bit laggy. We have a crazy setup over here with all of this stuff. And I actually the part of the reason I'm doing this is I want to trim this down. If we have faster production, I don't need as many of these. I can do the hydroponics trays and just have a nice little like maybe, you know, 10 or 12 you know, a couple rows of them or whatever and not have to have such a crazy setup. I'm gonna let this run a little bit though. I mean, look, we're already at 450 and counting. Uh, so that's actually pretty freaking efficient. If I made another one of these and hooked it up to it, it would go even faster. Actually, you know what, let's do that. I wanna show you where you can get those anyway. So you come over here and you're in your old uh, agricultural station and we go to, uh, where are you at here? Right here, the pump. So I need to go grab, I got the methanol on me. I need to grab some copper and some, what was that? Copper and titanium. So here we go. Water pump, craft that up. And then we will get to buying stuff and making those seeds. So let's go over here and we're going to just place this down like that. And we're going to hook it directly into there. And oh yeah, look at it go now. Yeah, if you had a bunch of those, like if, if I made two more, we could get some really, so this will work with anything that you can put in water. So this would work with poison. Um, I don't know what else mixes with water or what mixes together to create more of something, but this, you know, gives you the ability to create infinite of whatever that is. It'd be really nice if I can get one of the elder fluid and set up the same situation, but I don't know if the elder, elder fluid mixes or not, but we'll test it out once we get a good bit. Okay, so let's go look at what we need for this. I know we need the chili seeds to get the um the pyrogenic we need a core fragment we need hardened shell which those are easy enough to get i can make those right now i think i see the nodule on there in the egg shoot as well well that's uh that makes making that super easy so let's go to this let's get a hardened shell now let's go over here and buy some stuff so we need uh the core fragment for sure and we need some chilies those are super cheap so let's just buy a bunch of those let's get eight that should be good and i know i saw the nodule things where they i need those those are 600 but you know what i, I don't even care buy a couple of those and this is the great thing about being filthy rich in this game. Like, I'm just buying up $600 nodules and I'm like, whatever, that's pocket change. I'll have that back in no time once we get this new system set up. Uh, I thought I saw core fragments in here. Am I blind? Did I just pass it? Yeah, there it is. Core fragment. We'll just buy a couple of those. Okay, great. So now we have that. Now we need to come over here and extract from the old chili seeds. So we're gonna put those in there and they should, yep, there it is. I don't have any we needed of these, so I'm just gonna let a couple extract. Actually, let's keep one of those so we can plant those just in case we need them for in the future. I don't know how much we're gonna need this stuff for, but you know, you never know. All right, that should be enough for now. It's probably gonna give us one more. Okay, that should be, oh, we needed the egg shoot too. Uh, let's see here, let's just type that in egg. Uh, there you are, egg shoot. And we were able just to buy pretty much everything we needed to create these insanely OP seeds. Like, insanely OP seeds. Okay, so let's craft it up. There we go. We got three of them. Awesome. That is absolutely fantastic. Now, what I'm going to do is I had this system set up over here for another theory I had, and that didn't really pan out. We need the, the mutavisc. We don't need the algae, so we're going to take that out, and we're going to put one of those in there like so and we're gonna get into the nope okay i'm growing two mutavisks actually i don't want to grow two i want to grow one let's pull all of that out i want to grow two actually i want to grow three of these so and then that one's in there and then algae you're going to come out of here as well and we will grow the third one there so now we're just playing a little bit of a waiting game. But what we can do in the meantime is I think we have everything we need to get that next quest. So we can do that while we're waiting. Yep, we sure do. We got some resin. We got some of the uh, mutavisk stuff. And there we go. Now, let's go over here and find this mask. I don't know 
what else we needed for it. Uh, what else do we need here? We need some plastic polymer and some penumbrite shards, which we have a ton of those. So plastic, do I have any plastic? Plastic polymer, I have a bunch of them. That's why we make a ton of stuff whenever we need something. So that should be, there it is, that's it. So we can make the helm. Actually, what does this give us? Immune to deadly radiation, 30%. Why do you need radioactive resistance when you're immune to radiation? That doesn't make any sense to me. Oh, and fall reduction, that's pretty cool. Okay, well, we're gonna make that. Uh, then apparently we're starving, so uh, we're gonna eat this crunchy chick, because, mmm, crunchy chick, that did absolutely nothing. Give us a little heal buff. Anyway, uh, let's grab some, ooh, wait, what's this? You can make compressed algae? Ooh, algae, what do you sell for? Should I be making lots of you? You only sell for six. What does compressed algae sell for? How many does it take? It takes 10 algae for one compressed algae. And algae stacks, compressed algae stacks, what does that sell for? 60. 60. What is sugar? Well, let's eat a couple of these so it'll shut up and stop beeping at me. I'm always looking for... Oh my god! We lost a little bit of HP, but Jesus, that was a ton of food! Did you see that? We were almost empty. I ate one and it filled us all the way up. What if I eat another one? Oh, I do get the buff. So you lose 5% of your HP for a few minutes. Did that hurt us that bad? I mean, that really doesn't... If you're just out and about, and it's not, it's not even that long, and now we're completely full. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we're going to be growing algae, definitely. Uh, let's see, what does sugar sell for? Sugar sells for... 90 is going to be hard to top. I don't... I haven't found anything yet that is, is high. Like, no, those don't even sell for anything. That doesn't sell for anything. Like, I mean, these are neat, definitely neat, but they only sell for 60, so, and plus, they're compressed. They compress the algae anyway, but they're great to eat. That'll save me from having to grow two different things. All I just grow is just algae. I mean, that's, and I eat one and I'm full. Yep, mushroom bread, you're getting retired. Yep, that's it. We're retiring the mushroom bread right now. Give me these algae seeds. Put those in there. Put some algae in here. Nope, I want this one. Nope, I want this one. Yeah, I know one of them. Yep, mushroom bread. Mushroom bread, you served us well, but we found a new food. It tastes horrible. We lose a little bit of HP from it, but you know what? I can, I can eat one and fill my, my bar all the way up. That is absolutely freaking amazing, and it's extremely well-preserved. That's even better. Oh, so we're finding out all kinds of awesome stuff today. That's fantastic. Okay, let's run to the old science facility real quick because we're we're bound at our wrapping up point and we will talk to Lady and get our get our new quest. All right, so we're here. We have it. We just got to find the lady now. If we look, she is this lady right here. So I think she's a Nova kid. She looks like a Nova kid. And the downside is, is, oh, wait a minute, this is new. Okay, so this got updated. What does this do? Hires a lethal bounty hunter that talks loud and carries a big gun. And, I mean, we can afford pretty much any of these that we want. What does this do? Has a mop and sweeps. Oh, you can just hire crew? Provides increased fuel and efficiently ship speed. Oh my god, that's so awesome! Okay, I'm, I'm buying this. Craft that up. I don't know how this works, but we'll figure it out in a minute. Alright, now let's uh, let's go find this lady. I have no clue where she's at. And like I said, she could be... Oh wait, she's right here. Awesome! Okay. Oh, did we get another, another part to her? It says, uh, Molten Core. Oh no, it just stopped. Oh, did they? I thought you were supposed to get... Hold on a minute here. Hold up everything. So we got a baggie. One of our little reward bags. But I thought you were supposed to give that to her in... That was supposed to give you... A new dungeon. Well, that's lame. And, and we get lame stuff out of it. That... All of that. All of that. Because I thought you were supposed to get to another dungeon 
and we got nothing. I mean, did it get changed? See, this is why I don't like updating this game that much. Uh, I mean, that's rather frustrating. Well, let's go to our ship and see if we can figure out how to do this uh, contract thing. All right, so here we are on our ship. I guess, do we place it or we just use it? Oh, we just used it, there we go. And then you just uh, hit E when you're hired over top of him and then, or when you're highlighted over top of him and then you can hire him. So that's awesome. Is he following us? No, I don't want you, I don't want you following me. I want you to stay here. No. No, stop. Okay. Apparently he's permanently following me, which is weird. Usually well, you can look at them and hit E and tell them to stop. But uh, he doesn't seem to care. Okay, oh well. Let's check to see if we have uh, a new, no, yeah, a new mission. No, we don't. So, I, I don't know. Um, if anybody knows what the deal is with that, how you get to the ice dungeon now or whatever it's called. Just it's supposed to be like some frozen dungeon or something like that. I thought that was it, but uh, apparently is not. All right, let's head back to the house. All right, let's check on our plants here and see how they're doing. We want this one here. So we still have nine. Oh, I guess it unloaded because we, we weren't here. So I guess that's going to have to be something for next episode. So if you want to see what happens next episode and how quickly we can grow plants in our new setup and to make tons of money, be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit the bell, all that good stuff. You know, hit all the buttons. Just start clicking all the buttons on the page until you get notifications that I've put out a new video. So that's going to wrap it up for this video. Before I go, I want to give a quick shout out to my Patreon supporters. Thank you so much for all of your support. You all are absolutely amazing people. If you would like to help support this channel through Patreon, please check out the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If you're shy and you don't like to comment, just hit that thumbs up button and show your support. Until next time, thanks for watching.